We beat Iowa at home. It was, the place was electric. And I'm doing an interview at half court. And um, anyway, all the COVID stuff happens. The tournament get, gets canceled. And my kids move home. And, <laughs> now, and my, wait, college kids. College age kids, yeah. yes. So my, my daughter, who's a, who's a junior here at Illinois, she looks at me and she hands me a picture on, or shows me a picture on, after? On, on her, no, on her phone. And it was Olivia Decker was interviewing us. She was the, the BTN or sideline reporter of that game. And she goes, which one of your three chins do you think Olivia oh, likes oh, the best? Oh, oh. And, you know, that hurts. And, but, you know, you look up and you go, man, I look terrible. I was tired. Um, I, I was, I, you know, like I said, I, year two, I had a knee replacement. Uh, I coached the entire year without a voice um, with, with some of those difficulties. And, and you're, like you said, you just grind anyway. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden you look up and I've always taken a lot of pride in working out, but I, I, I was disgusting. And, uh, and we've lost 42 pounds and uh, trying to get this last eight off. And, and, but I, I feel better than, than I've ever felt, Tim. Well, you're kind of in the same exact position as your team is in your program, if you describe it the right way. You've kind of had all this stuff, and now you're at a point where you're close to your end goal, and you're, you're not chasing that big goal. You're right there almost being chased. You know, that's such a different mentality. Remember Pat Riley's book, uh, The Winner Within? Yeah, he talks absolutely. about the innocent climb. Absolutely. Where, you know, it's so great being the underdog and you put a chip on your shoulder and you yell at your guys, you're slobbering and just giving them the business. And, and, and all of a sudden it's different. Now you're going to, you're going to get everybody's best shot uh, when you're on top. And I remember Tom Izzo calling me, oh, I think it was after the 2014 season when we ended up getting tied for third or fourth or whatever it was and went to the NCAA tournament. He goes, you know, next year is going to be harder for you than any year you've ever had. 